Certainly is, and I think Adrian is really going to be feeling good about at that early break against Phil. And it's going to be important for Adrian on this, starting this leg, to get a good start and hold the throw, because Phil is so good at breaking straight back if he does actually get broken. Well, this is one way to go about holding your throw. Oh, well, he knew, he knows the importance of this. He knows how aggressively Phil will come back here, too. Would not be surprised at all if Phil gets one as well. Well, you were almost getting a new nickname of the clairvoyant Canadian there, John, but so near. 100. And this turn will be the same approach for Phil, very deliberate. He wants to break back straight away. There's no doubt about it. Ninety-six. So just falling back slightly. Adrian winning this battle of wills in this leg. Going to be on a decent finish. One hundred. After nine. A ton is no good to him, so he's going to have to switch away. 98. Adrian, you require 121. Well, treble 20 for double 18. Won't be able to do it. 76 for this start. 65. Phil, you require 167. Phil can hit these at will. Needs treble 20. Willing it strongly enough this time. 93. Adrian, you require 56. So really daylight here for Jackpot. Two darts at tops. Double 10. Game Adrian Lewis is 4 Lewis. 2 up from the world the champion. Came on. It's early. And it's exactly the start that Lewis was looking for. Well, a great double 10. Didn't hesitate at all. Just right straight down after missing the 20 and into that double 10 with confidence and he needed the confidence because if he misses that double 10 it's Phil's chance to break straight back. I guess we could call that a poise of sorts. 140. It's not easy that the pace Adrian throws to with full confidence switch down and hit that double. I mean it's quite easy to, to pull it or something and uh, well, just a great job there. 140. Well, it was six years yesterday that Phil Taylor last lost on this stage. 27th July 2007. Let's put in that into context. How long ago that was? Tony Blair had just resigned as Prime Minister and Australia's held the ashes. 16. Taylor started red hot one to three. Lewis was three to one against. Now the bookmakers making Taylor only a fractional favourite. Sixteen. Well, it is still very early, and Phil's only down one break. Another thing in, in Phil's favour is. Uh, if it does get level and it goes all the way, he will have the darts in the deciding leg. So these little, little fractional things add up. But Phil still favourite. If it does go all the way, John, we will have been served up an absolute treat. 62. 62 then for Phil Taylor. Treble 10, the first target. Choices, either 20 or 12. It's 20, so double 16 for the power. 46. Wow, well, an opportunity to power ahead with a 104 for another break. Still needs 18s, needs a treble. He has it, so double 16. Whoa. 72. Bill couldn't look. Two eights then for Phil Taylor. He missed by fair on distance on double 16. He hasn't missed there. And you wonder an off dart here or there, John, when you look back, maybe 
maybe that near miss on double 16 for Lewis might be significant. Well, Phil certainly knows he dodged a bullet there. When he got his second chance, though, he was very professional. No sign of nerves at all. Just 100. put that double eight to bed. And, uh, a little bit of a bad start here. 100. Only one trouble and five dart or six darts from Lewis. And Phil, although he only hit a ton his first turn, is thinking this is a good chance to break back. One hundred and forty. Now he's got the edge by 81 minus these. And Taylor's effectively got the darts in this leg, 96. even with that treble 19 from Lewis. And just that slight distraction to Lewis's leg and this leg by missing that opportunity. And he knew as well as everybody else what that meant. And it just put him off his, his scoring on this leg. It's like a domino effect. 85. No finish for Taylor. Oh, now then, looking for his third. Brilliant. And what a time to get it. He was second favourite in this leg for most of it. And now he's left himself a two darter with his third max. Yeah, he'll get a crack, but still looking to leave a double. So there should be some pressure on this shot of Adrian now. 40. Adrian 66. He's treble 10 for double 18. Adjusted. The dart sort of slipped when he went up and looked at the first dart at double 18. He took his time, which in this instance helped him. You know, he didn't throw away a dart. He made sure he got a good value on his throw, which he did by setting up a good marker. Well, for years, Adrian Lewis couldn't beat Phil Taylor on the big TV stage. I remember him being absolutely butchered here at the Winter Gardens uh, a few years ago, 17-3. Then he beat Taylor at the Grand Prix in Dublin in a semi-final, 5-4, October 2010. And that seemed to change his attitude against the power. He suddenly believed that he could beat him. So many players, John, are beaten before they get on the stage against Phil Taylor. I think Lewis has shed that tag now. And it was the way Adrian did it. He, he came from behind, miraculously even. like Just a fantastic comeback. So the, the depth of heart to do what he did against the man he did, he just, now he 96. believes. Also beat Phil Taylor in a Premier League semi-final. Last win over the power, April 2012 in the Premier 60. League. Well, here's another chance for Lewis. I'm not sure that did anything for him, really. Um, he still, even with a treble of any kind, will not leave a finish. 102. He left 169, but he couldn't have left to finish with that last dart anyway, so that wasn't a counting mistake unless you count the second dart. And Phil, no mistake about that, he's left 32 from 203. To win the ninth flag in 13 darts, Phil Taylor eyeing up double 16. Game shot on the ninth flag, Phil Taylor! Turn away, oh, good adjustment. 123. A bit of relief there. Many times uh, you start off your throw and you pull it into those ones, a single or a treble, and you can come back and just make that slight adjustment, get those two treble 20s. It's a huge difference in your whole leg. 134. Well, an important leg here, Lewis. Looking to go 6 4 at the break. Taylor looking to tie it at 5 each. Fantastic. Yeah. Fabulous darts from Lewis. If it wasn't for that first treble one on the wire, he'd be on a nine darter. They've been all very close in that treble. 81. Well, to put the averages into context, which are 109, 110, the highest ever on this stage is 114.99. Taylor v. Barry Bates. 
So you're watching some of the greatest darts ever thrown on the Winter Garden stage. Yeah, and they, they're driving each other to the averages, and that's uh, the beauty of it. Symbiotic relationship here. I think I remember that somewhere. It's treble 19, double 10, double 5. Oh. You know, he's so free flowing. Misses by miles on the first out of double 10, but no problem. Whip, whip it up there, double five, and he's six four ahead, maintaining his margin of victory. The one break. We'll be back because it's just getting interesting.